Hi, my name is Lois Melarano. I'm a licensed rehabilitator for the state of Connecticut, and I have a little guy I'd like to share with you today. This is a cottontail. It's an eastern cottontail. You can tell by the little white mark right here. And his nest, unfortunately, was attacked by a dog. And if you look, you'll see, I don't know if Marlo can get it, but there are some little nicks here. He's got a little nick in his ear. And I've washed those with betadine, and I'll keep an eye for infection, but I try not to give oral antibiotics to these guys because they do have very sensitive digestive systems, and we don't want to mess up that balance. But anyhow, I just got him last night, and we're going to try a couple of different methods and see which one he likes best for feeding. Now, while I'm feeding him, this is a day one formula to 3240 that is made specifically for cottontails. So let us give him a try with the bottle. It can be a little difficult to get the nipple in there, but usually once it's in there, if the formula is warm enough, they'll take it right down. This time of year, cottontails are breeding. Um, a lot of people think they nest in tunnels, but they really don't. They make a small depression in the ground and they nest right on top of the ground. And I get quite a few of these guys from dog attacks, cat attacks, uh, lawn mowers running over the nest. Um, so kind of keep an eye when you're mowing your lawn and kind of keep an eye on your dog. If he seems like he's out there going crazy digging something up, it's probably a bunny nest. And the thing about bunnies is that they don't spend a lot of time with their babies. They'll come three or maybe four times a day and they'll stand over the nest. If you look out, you'll just see a bunny out there chewing on your lawn. But while she's standing there, her babies are nursing. And then she'll be with them only a few minutes, and then she'll be gone again. So you may have babies in your yard and not even realize it. Um, one thing I want to mention, the accepted practice, if your dog does dig up a nest, is to put the nest back. Of course, confine your dog or leash him or try and keep him away from the area. And to put an X on top of the nest with dental floss or yarn or something so that you'll know if the nest has been disturbed and the mother has been back. I have found in 25 years that when it's a dog attack or a cat attack that the mother almost never comes back. So you have to keep a really close eye. Um, these guys can dehydrate in 12 to 24 hours. So if you want to go ahead and do the X thing, just check it about 12 hours later. And if it hasn't been disturbed, then you know the mother is, hasn't come back. Best thing to do when you find them, if the mother for sure isn't coming back, you want to bring them inside, put them in a box uh, with an old t-shirt, an old towel, but something that isn't real stringy because they can get tangled up in the string. You want to keep them warm and dark and quiet. And if need be, if you can't get a rehabilitator immediately, you want to give them uh, just plain water so they don't dehydrate and you can do that with a dropper but most people don't have those handy you can take a washcloth as long as it's good and clean and there's no fabric softener or anything like that on it and wet a little corner of that and put it near the baby's mouth and just squeeze a drop or two on their lips and see if they'll suck it up for you if they do then you know continue to do that um, if they seem like they're very lethargic and they're not drinking very much, you may want to try that few drops of water every 15 minutes or so until you can get them to a rehabilitator. Now you can find a list of rehabilitators at the Connecticut DEEP website. Just Google Connecticut DEEP. And on their main page, if you click on Natural Resources, from the drop-down menu, select Wildlife. And then there will be a, a list on the side and one of the items will be nuisance or distressed wildlife. You want to click on that, and that page will list all the rehabilitators in Connecticut and what animals they take in. Um, anyhow, this little guy is done. Now I'm going to feed his little brother.